for this tutorial what I would like to show you guys is how to uh, set up multiple cameras and basically create a mini map okay so as you can see here I already have a the main camera that came with it and I added a FPS controller okay so first person player now you notice I'm selecting the main camera and I have the camera view here and if I go to the FPS controller I click on the first person character uh, we can see a preview of that camera so I've set that up so that when we start we um, go into here's a go into the play mode so I'm going towards the uh, mountain and uh, basically also as we can see uh, the audio listener on the first person is turned on and I turned off the main camera uh, uh, audio listener if I don't do that you won't hear the footsteps or anything else on there so for example if I click that back on notice when I go into play mode I'm going forward but you don't hear those footsteps or any other audio so again make sure you have the main uh, you only have one audio listener turned on. So I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to leave the first person audio listener because that's what I wanted. Uh, but I want this camera to have that audio listener. As I move around it will detect audio or engage with some other audio if we need to do that. Okay, uh, so to create, uh, to have, so we have multiple cameras there now at this point, right? And, um, and by the way, if you wanted to, you can also add cameras just by doing uh, selecting the hierarchy, right mouse click, and select camera. Now we have a third camera, so but we don't need that right now. Okay, so I'm just going to delete that. We have these two cameras. So basically, what I'm going to use this other camera for, uh, the camera that already came in there, as you'll notice, it's you know set up incorrectly. Is just basically I want to use it as a mini map. So what I'm going to do is rotate the camera overhead over the terrain. Uh, and then size it enough so that we can see it maybe placed in this corner. Obviously, you, even based on the coordinates, the way you'll set it up, you can put it in this corner or in the middle or whatever, right? Or this corner or that corner. So um, that's what, uh, what I want to be able to do. All right, so first, what I'll do is I select, I'll select the main camera, which is selected there. I'm going to zoom out just so I can see um, about where it is. And um, I'm going to move it, move it up first. I'm going to select the, my uh, move tool. I'm going to select the y-axis tool. So I'm going to move it up a little bit there. And I'm going to rotate my scene so I can look right over it. Then I'm going to rotate it down so I can see, look down towards my scene. And then I'm going to move it down again. I'm going to rotate my scene here. Um, by the way, I'm using the Alt key in the left mouse to rotate the scene. And I'm going to move it down some more. And I'm going to use the, um, I'm, now I'm going to grab, notice this uh, plane gets highlighted. That means it's going to be moving on the X and Z axis. So as you can see, here's the red and Y in the gizmo. And that's how I know it's the X and Z axis. I'll just move that in place about there. Maybe move it down a little bit more. Okay. For now, we'll leave it there. All right, so at least we can see our whole terrain there. In terms of the mini map, and we'll, we'll play more with the uh, camera size and, and so on. Uh, so at least it's set up that way. So now if I go to my camera or the uh, first person control this is what we can see right if I go into the um, game mode uh, we don't see the mini map at all right and part of the reason is that is that because when uh, if you'll notice on the main the main camera was when we first created a scene that's what you we usually have the main camera and directional light right and usually the depth on there is set to zero right but when we added the first person uh, controller or player, and you'll notice now when I click on the first person character, which is the camera, 
uh, you'll notice the depth on there is set to zero. So that means that this is going to render first above the main camera. You see, it, with the main camera set at negative one in terms of depth. So what we want to do uh, is change that to zero. Okay, so change it to zero. So notice automatically what it does, it, you know, it changes it uh, between the two camera is going to uh, change it when I do go into play mode, it's still the main camera shown and not the uh, FPS. All right, but here's what we're going to do. So in the game tab, we're going to change the X and Y position, and we're going to change the width and height of the viewport for that for the main camera, which is going to be the minimap. All right. So uh, let's start with the uh, X position. Uh, position at about 0.85. Notice now we're starting to see the other camera. Let's just type in 0.85. And then we want to move it to about 0.75 or so you know, up in that corner somewhere. And then uh, we'll change the width here. Notice if I change the width to um, change that to point three five and then the height point uh, no, All right, so now we've basically positioned it in this corner. We've got our scene here. Um, let's just so that, let me see here. Obviously when we move around here, we can't see anything moving. So what um, what we'll do is well, what I'll do is I'll add a cube to the um, to the FPS controller. All right, so I'm going to select the uh, FPS controller, 3D object cube. It adds a cube to it. Double click to zoom in on it. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Uh, if I go to the, my view here, what I want to do is kind of move move the cube in front of it, just so we can see it. Okay. Um, so I'll just select, oops, make sure I select the cube. Just in front of it, there is the cube right there. Now we should be able to also see it here, but it kind of the terrain is, a, the terrain is about the same color and all that. Let me just add texture to the terrain real quickly here. So I'm going to go to the paint terrain, uh, paint texture. Down to edit terrain layer, create new layer, uh, grass, uh, grass rocky albedo. Um, that's yeah, you know what? We'll change that. That looks better, but uh, let's change this tile settings there. Let's increase that to make it more. Make it look more rocky. Let me say 15. Change that to 15 also. There we go. And that'll show up a little bit better too. Actually, why don't we add some texture to the cube? So I'll create a new material. And we'll just make it something, some color that's pretty obvious to see. To red. Okay, so we've changed the color to red. Uh, let's make the cube a little bit bigger too. All right, so let's look in the game view. There we go. All right, and we'll go 
port. And as you can see, we can see in our mini map the cube moving around there. Okay. Obviously, um, you know, we can play around with the sizes and all that to get that. You know, we can make the train bigger. Uh, we can make um, the um, the uh, viewports different sizes so that it fits more in this size and so on. But you get the idea. Okay. And that's.